to you guys, start on your project. Stry, start on it, okay? Um, you need any help, let me know, and we'll, we'll, I'll try to help as much as I can, okay? Uh, let me see if I can answer that question, Ms. Cheyenne. Uh, yes, let me pull it up, okay? So um, uh, first, I'm going to go over Ms. Emma's first, okay? Ms. Cheyenne, can you hear me? I'm going to go uh, with Ms. Emma's project. And then we'll look, look at yours real quick, see where you're at, okay? All righty. Okay. Okay, Miss Emma, you had a question, right? Yes, yes, I did. Um, I, I was, like, getting, I guess, kind of confused with my startup costs. Okay. Let me see where you be at. All right, so a startup cost, right? Yes, which okay. should be helpful. So, hey, demographics, okay, SWAT, labor, look all good, recipes, you got them all filled out, yay. Yes, uh, I had to make two. <laughs> I saw, okay. Uh, overall food costs, you got to plug in two, okay. You're looking at 29%, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Overall drink costs, you're looking at 28%. So 29 and 28, got it. So startup costs. So where are we at here, right? Yes. Okay. So I was using that website that you brought up, but I was like, I don't know. I was getting confused, and it was a lot. Okay. So full sheets, sheet bands, right? How many you need? It goes right here, uh, right here, unit. Okay. Let's say you need 20 sheet trays, right? Yes. You type in 20 sheet trays? And the price, okay, the price is going to go right here where it says AP price. Let's say they cost $24 a piece. No, maybe not there, okay. Really? Wait a minute. Uh, let me go figure out what the uh, H3. Yeah, H3 times D3. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to fix our formula here. Okay. So this right here, I'm going to paint it. Okay. And this right here, I'm going to um, paint it as well too. Okay. Number. All right. Cool. So we're going to multiply. Okay. Uh, E3, E times H3, there we go, okay? So all you need to do is figure out what you need, plug in right here, which says um, item, okay? Uh, order, how many units? 25, 6, 12, a dozen, and how mm -hmm. much the price costs according to the restaurant store, okay? Okay. It is gonna tally everything on this side, where it says number, okay? It's already doing everything for you, okay? Okay. And at the bottom, right here, okay, we're going to plug in another formula. We're going to sum them up, okay? And we are going to tally all these numbers that you plug it in. So see where you're at. It may be to $150,000, uh, okay? Because, again, you're looking at to what is there, really. Oh, it's the machine broke. We don't speak English. Okay. All right, we're gonna go this way. Okay. There we go. Okay. Here it is, right here. Okay. Okay. And that's how much is gonna tell you at the end. Okay. So take a look at what you need: cutting boards, sanitation buckets, sheet pans, stoves, freezers, uh, defryers, proofers. Uh, mixers, mixing paddles, mixing bowls, mixing whisks, uh, slotted spoons, ladles, cutty, uh, knives, aprons, sanding buckets, mops, mop buckets, mop heads, uh, towels, uh, cash register, safes, uh, security system, POS system, anything and everything you can possibly think that it's in the kitchen that you need for your menu. Okay? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Anna, you're welcome. All right.
Uh, let's go over Cheyenne. Let me see where you're at, okay? Uh, start on cost two, okay? You got to make your logo, okay? So let's go take a look at, where is it? There we go, okay? Let's see what you're missing, or what you have so far, okay? Let's be positive, right? What do you have accomplished so far? <laughs> All right. So this is, um, no, that's not yours. Yeah, I was fixing to be like, that one's not mine. All right. <laughs> Mine's cakes and cupcakes. Got it. I picked up the wrong one. My bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> they meant to scare you. All right. So this is it, right? Sweet Bakes Project. Okay. Yes, sir. So the first tab, you still need some information right here at the bottom. Okay. On so, my end, on my end, it says it's done. Eh, so share it, because what I have is, is maybe that's why what I see it's like uh, I don't see anything yet. So share what you have now, because this is this is old. Okay, I'm gonna share mine again. Okay, that's one like uh, you gotta get a move on it. You gotta go. Okay, I'm gonna exit out of this one and share yours again, so I can pull it up. I sent it. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Laura said thank you. Hey, Chef. I don't know if you saw me pop in. Um, I got here at exactly five, so technically I was late. I did, see? Sorry. I got four eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd. I know I'm a nerd, right? <laughs> it's okay. It's good to be a nerd. Okay. Quick question, Chef. Uh -huh. um, you don't have to look at it now because um, it's not finished. I s sent you my slideshow last night so that you could see that I've been working on it. Um, the demographics I'm trying to work on because I want to use my chart, the graphs that I have on my sheet thing but it won't let me like copy and paste them onto the slides. And I didn't want to take the ones from the website that I got the information from because that's stealing. And so I'm trying to figure that out. Um, but I've got most of the slideshow done. And I, I, saw, said, I saw the slideshow. It looks pretty good so far. It looks like you're halfway building it, you know? Yeah. All right, Miss Cheyenne, my, I'm, my apologies. Let me pull out the right one and let me see where you're at, okay? One of them, I'd be freaking out. I'm like, uh, wah. <laughs> uh, there you go. This is it, right? We're in the right one now, right? Sweet bakes. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Whew. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Swan analysis. Uh, so you still need some analysis on this um, part right here. Alrighty, I, I'm still trying to figure that out. I haven't really found anything on that. <laughs> so opportunity, okay. So tough cookie. What do they have? Strengths. Uh, more up to date with society with other 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 products. Are vegetarian or vegan? They use the highest quality organic and local ingredients available. Uh, weaknesses, 5% of the society that is vegan and vegetarian, they're all missing out on the 98. They're not, um, okay. So threats would be they're vegan and vegetarian. That would be a threat to your uh, concept. Opportunities, uh, piggyback off the we their weaknesses. The opportunity for you is you, uh, you, are, you, have, you may have some vegan or some uh, gluten-free options, but you're catering to a wider audience, okay? So threats. And uh, opportunities, opportunities, you know, crisscross from the weaknesses. Their weakness is your opportunity, okay? Okay. Okay. Same thing with Johnson's Bakery, uh, Simply Sweet, and then Pies Galore and more. Demographics. All right, cool. You got demographics, uh, labor assumptions. Uh, where's your project going to be at? What city or state? Bastrop. Okay. <laughs> you might want to. Okay. 
kitchen prep. So your kitchen prep and uh, counter help, those are going to be hourly employees. So they need to go here. This is your counter help. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, the bottom. And your um, kitchen prep is going to go down here, the other bottom, where it says back of the house. Okay. Okay. And you're going to give them a, a, a what you call it, a, an hourly rate, maybe $12, 13 whatever you want to pay them. Okay. So. All righty. Those are slotted down the bottom. Okay. Okay. What else? Uh, recipes. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Look great. Yes, I have been working on them. Cool. I see that. Awesome. Okay. Um, two sets. But it goes. All right. Coolio. So let's go to the startup cost. Oh, my God. Okay. Here we go. You're on track. Okay. That one I'm still working on. Okay. Yeah, that one is, if you can get them by today, even better. Okay. So, okay. You are going to be, let me go ahead and tally them up, see how much you're, you got so far. Okay. It's going to um, sum all these numbers. You should be looking at about maybe 50, yeah, $50,000 right now. Okay. So keep on plugging that information. So when you think about your startup costs, you have um, deck ovens, racks, baking sheets, commercial mixers, baker stable, refrigerator, clean department sink, freezer, register, display case, scales, mid ovens, half baking sheets, muffin pans. Uh, cooling racks, uh, half full, uh, cake stands, uh, sieves, baking she uh, sheet liners, hand sinks, sp spatulas, rolling pins, piping bags, measuring cups, liquid measuring, <clears throat> donage racks, utility cards, coffee makers, function, uh, pan de soda, ice makers, food boxes. Okay. Um, okay. So think about uh, what else? Um, cutting board, whisk, spoons, ladles, uh, gloves, um, hand washing sinks, uh, soap dispensers, towel dispensers, sanitizer dispensers, mop buckets, mop heads, mop brooms, uh, brooms, dust pans, um, anything you can possibly think that is in the kitchen, in, in a kitchen, an industrial sized kitchen. Okay, um, a safe, cash register, POS system. Uh, what else? Sandy buckets, towels, um, you got mixers, what about a blender, food processor, a immersion blender, saute pans, stock pots, that sort of thing, okay? So All that, righty. That all goes in there, okay? Yeah, the revenue assumptions, don't touch that, okay? And the monthly P&L statement, okay, food costs. Uh, so on your standard recipe costs right here, okay? You need your um, overall food cost percentage and your um, beverage percentage. And how to figure that one out, you're going to go to the bottom left, where I'm going right now, and uh, add a sheet, okay? This, we're going to name it, let me see, I can rename it, okay? Cost percentage, okay? And I'm going to work with you on this one, making it here on the screen so you can see, all right? Merge to sales, give it some color, give it a nice border, and call it a... Uh, because this number is, is very important for you to have when you're a monthly p &L statement. Percentage, okay? Uh, we're gonna make it look a little bigger. There we go. Increase the font, mold it, center it, okay? Uh, get rid of this percentage so that I tap in my mistake in the bottom. You're gonna call that um, item name, okay? Next one up, raw cost. Your retail cost is what you have it on your menu. Okay, how, how you priced it. Okay, we're gonna merge this two sales here too. Okay, we're gonna give this to some dollar denominations. Okay, and we're gonna give it a border. Nice and pretty. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna take this one's copy and high, paste all the way down to number fifty. Uh, row number fifty. Here we go. Okay and paste it. Now, at the bottom, we're gonna call this raw cost, retail cost, 
cost. You got the fat finger syndrome. And um, food cost percentage, okay? Really? Cool, okay. So on this one, okay, we're all gonna push them to the left, the right hand side. Really? There we go, okay. Also gonna give him a little bit of color too. I like to play with colors, just, just me. Merge cells, give it a color. Merge the cells, give it a color, okay. So now here, we're gonna give it a formula two. We're gonna sum all these items, click here, and go all the way to the top, okay, until uh, C3. Anything you type in there will uh, automatically sum it up in the bottom, it'll tally it up. We're gonna go do the same thing on the other row, on D, okay? Okay, we're gonna plug in the formula here where it says uh, food cost. No. Wait a minute, I had to skip. There we go. I had to skip the cell. All right. No, that's not what I want it. I'm sorry. There we go. Now the food cards, we're gonna take, type in the formula equals C48 divided by D49. And we're gonna give it, give it a percentage, okay? You follow me? Yes, sir. All right, cool. So on the first one here, what's on your first uh, recipe, okay? So let's go to your first recipe, okay? Tequila lime margarita cupcakes, yeah. So tequila cupcakes. What is the, um, the portion cost on this one per item? 90 cents, see that? Cost portion, 90 cents. So you're gonna take that number and here put it 0.90. So what's the price of your menu? How much are you selling the cupcake for? Hold on, I'm trying to find it. Okay. Because your recipe cost card is a suggested price, but you're going to put the uh, the price on your menu here, not the suggested, because your, your menu price is going to be totally different than this one. The menu price is $3.92. Let's make it three ninety five. Okay? okay? So here we go. Okay, let's go to the next one. I'll do two, okay? And you can uh, do the rest uh, later. So the next one, it will be classic vanilla cupcakes. Okay, so underneath the tequila, classic vanilla cupcakes got it and the portion cost for this one is at 31 cents how much are you still in that one you menu Let's see we are selling it a dollar 55 dollar 55 got it so oh, no wait 155 okay <laughs> so this is how you go so Raw cost is your portion cost, and retail is the, the price you have in menus. As you're filling the rest of the uh, slots here and put in the menu and then the menu price, it's already adding, see, 121. So this is 90 cents plus 31 cents equals $1.21. And now here, uh, $11, okay, is, um, no, wait a minute. Five fifty. So this is three ninety five plus a dollar fifty five equals five dollars and fifty cents. Your retail cost. Your formula is divided the low number by the high number, and that is your food cost percentage. Once you plug in all that information, this number is going to go on your monthly PL statement where it says here food cost percentage. Okay. Okay. And then the bottom is going to be your um, beverage cost. Now back here or you already got this information plugged in, cool. So 
here on your payroll, you're looking at 29%. We're going to knock that one out to 24%. So on the hourly payroll slot, B11, we're going to go to the formula bar on top and get rid of that 0.3 and, and do 0.24. See what that does? It knocks your uh, payroll to 23%. Okay. So once you do that, uh, let's say you're running your food costs just out of a ghost number at 25%. And your beverage at 18%. See, your net profits is above uh, 20%. And that's where we want it to be, about 20% or more. If it's below that, then you're losing money. Okay. But all has to do with what is your food cost percentage and what is your beverage cost. Okay. All righty. So uh, I might take those numbers out. So what you need to do now, aside from um, you have to get all your food cost percentage done, okay, uh, load up your menu, load up your logo. Uh, you need your layout and um, and the pictures of what is supposed to look like inside. Okay. Okay. So with that, uh, go ahead and add another another sheet. Bottom left. Uh, add three more sheets. One is for the layout. One is for the um, um, what is going to look like inside. One is for your menu and your logo. All right. So you're on track. All right, you're on track. Cool. So just got to keep on plugging in, okay? I hear a bird. Is that Victor's? I'm outside on the porch. All right. <laughs> Is that Victor's bird? Just kidding. All right. So you're on track, right? Cool. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? Yes. Um, I was wondering if you could look at my cost percentages. Okay. Because then I need to put it into my uh, monthly and yearly and I want to make sure it's right. All right, cool. I'll pull it up. Because it's a little high. I don't know if it needs to be high or not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. So yellow dream banker, right? Here we go. Okay, so which cost are you looking at? Uh, it's on the very end, the cost percentages. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so it's just a formula that is wrong, okay? So we're going to fix it, okay? Okay. <laughs> You're not running a 2,000 <laughs> food cost. My goodness. That means you are giving away your food for free. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. Okay, so here we go. We're going to sum it up, okay? Um, also, do I need to make a second one for beverages? Because I only have six. Oh, you can just do um, a little little one like this on the side of this one. Okay, so I need to get rid of the drinks? Yes. Okay. okay. So I'm going to sum them up, okay? I'm going to okay. have everything here. Okay. So your cost is 898809. Okay. Okay. And then your retail, okay. Let's make sure the formula is applied in properly. All right, there we go. There we go, 36. Oh, your food cost is gonna be extremely low, okay. So here where it says 2000, we're gonna plug in the formula. Equals uh, C26. Um, divided by Uh, D, 27. Yeah, it's really low. Okay. Okay. So that means is your prices are too high or your recipe cost cards are too low. Maybe you have too many. Um, uh, okay, let's take a look at vanilla cupcake. So... Mm -hmm. This recipe, it makes, it makes 18? Yes. Okay. Butter, sugar, eggs. Eggs are 28 cents a piece. There's one. Uh, vanilla bean, vanilla extract, 
milk, I think maybe milk is a little bit higher than that. I'm not too sure if it's four, ounce, four cents an ounce. Powdered sugar and milk. So it's 40 cents. Okay. So let's take a look at 140. Okay. What else? Chocolate cupcake. So your chocolate cupcake is probably going to be a little bit more expensive than 45 cents because you're having chocolate in it too. Depends on the kind of chocolate. 38 cents. Yeah, your raw cost is, is really, really low. Almond croissant, 67 cents and 375. Because it's not even pulling the numbers. It's not even. I mean, so. Eight and 12, $8.12 divided by 36.06. That's a 22% food cost. Oh, there we go. That's why. I'll plug in the wrong problem. That my bad. <laughs> Duh. Okay. C twenty six, not twenty eight. Okay, now I check that number. Okay, six. C twenty six. There we go. Okay. There we go. So you're running at twenty two percent food cost. So that goes into your uh, monthly P and L statement. It goes down here. Okay, all the way. The same number goes across the board, all the way down to December. Okay. Now, to go ahead and do a beverage cost, okay, you can copy and paste this exact same uh, formulas, okay? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So, one, two, three, four, five. And then go down to there. No, 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 no. So, my, my mouse is acting up. Paste, boom, okay. And now, same concept, but you're gonna get rid of everything above the beverages, okay? Okay. Boom. Now your beverage cost is running at 30%, okay? Yeah, 30%, okay. So go back to the, your monthly PNL statement and type the number here, 30%. It's a, it's a bit high. So maybe you need to go back and uh, change the prices on your um, beverages. So tea, come on, 80 cents? <laughs> Let's go down to 95, okay? Uh, iced tea, no, no, no. Let's go back to buck 75. OJ, a dollar 95, okay? Apple juice, let's sell it for a dollar fee, okay? Ice coffee, yeah, 1.75. And hot coffee, okay, 1.75. There you go. Now you're running an 18% beverage cost. So go back, 18%. See, your profit is now 17%, okay? That's better. And then I need to go back and take the drinks off of the first one, because I can do that. There's yeah, double check. Yeah. And also too, on your hourly payroll right here, uh, where I have uh, a B11 of 4,443, we're gonna change that formula to do a 24%. So on the formula bar, I click on the, the three, okay? And mm -hmm. erase that three and type in 24, okay? There, okay? So- and Do I need to do that across? Across, but you can go ahead and click, copy, like I'm doing here, go to the next one, okay? Base, there we go, okay? So okay. do it all the, all the way across, okay? Now your profit is, there we go, now you go in. Now you're sitting at 24%, okay? Okay. So this one, um, cost percentage, yeah. Get rid of this, this beverages. Now your uh, beverage, uh, food cost is 20, 20, 20%. There you go. Awesome, thank you. You got it. Okay. I have a question. Yes. 
Well, I mean, I guess I can wait for my turn. It's fine. Well, it was your turn. Cucharitas. Okay. What's the question? Um, on my P and L, because I'm... Okay. My hourly payroll is a lot. Okay. So let's take a look at your <coughs> monthly P&L statement, okay? Uh, you're sitting at 23%. Yeah, but I don't necessarily have that many employees. But it's, it's only calculated because you're at 50%. See, when you go to 75%, it calculates more money. <clears throat> it all has to do with your revenue, your sales. The more sales that you get, the more money you got to spend on your labor. Even if in real life, I necessarily don't. Okay. Correct. You don't have to use all that money uh, in, in the true world, uh, in, the, in the true business. Uh, you know, when, when they give us the money, we like to spend it because if you don't spend that budget money on that year, for the next year, the GM or the food and beverage is going to say, you ran a 20% labor cost last year when it was real busy. You're going to be, uh, be given a 20% labor cost this year. And you're like, oh, I barely made it last year. Barely. I need some more staff. Well, you can because now you're locked in at a 20%. So if you have the money, spend it wisely because otherwise uh, they might say, no, you can't have the money. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, you're sitting at 23%. And again, uh, this this number, uh, 2003, uh, $203,000, it goes up with your sales because now you're sitting at 90, uh, 75%. On May, let's see if I can zoom in. Okay. May, you're, um, no, in, in May, you're sitting at 90% occupancy or 90% business, okay? Your labor jumps two hundred forty-four thousand dollars. That means that's how much money you gotta spend. And if your business demands it, you can a hire more staff, get some temps in, get some more help. Uh, you don't have to spend it, but if you're generating that much sales, you are gonna need the uh, staff to help you support the um, the business. Okay, because if you don't spend it, uh, you know we like to hold on as much as we can to that little money that that is being generated. You're gonna overwork your staff. You might work over, overwork your staff. They're gonna get burnout. They're gonna quit. They're gonna leave. Thirteen percent. Thirteen percent. You ever discuss silver two I? Yes, I I know that. Okay. <laughs> um, but it's just because. I, if I buy the assorted pack, um, cause you know, Mexican Coca-Cola, Fanta and Sprite all come in the same pack. Uh -huh. Do I just do it for the one pack instead of, I mean, it would still be the same cost. Um, I don't know. Like you buy it in bulk? Yeah. From Restaurant Depot. It's easy to buy it in bulk and to buy it um, separate because bulk you're gonna get a lot more better pricing. Yeah, so that's how I'm able to get them at like basically less than a dollar each. Uh huh. But it's it's still not twenty four percent. No, it's uh, three dollars. Yeah. And then I'm still working on the other stuff, but it it looks like I'll have a low cost. Uh, food cost as well. Yeah, your food cost. Is, wait a minute. Uh, five. I'm, I'm finishing it up. Okay. <laughs> uh, on paper, and then I'll upload it. But it also looks like I'll be under thirty. Not necessarily at thirty, but under. Maybe okay. about the same as my beverage. Oh, stop scratching your face. So let's say you hit a twenty-five percent, just out of curiosity, right? Twenty-five mm -hmm. percent. Okay, there we go. Then your profit jumps. So you're taking the hit on beverage, but you're making it up on food. Yes, the difference is brings it, it averages out. Yeah, it washes out. Okay, cool. Well, that that, that makes some more sense. 
All right. So yeah, yeah. Like I said, that mo that money on payroll, uh, if it's there, use it wisely. If it's not, um, you know, if you don't want to use it, that's fine. But in true reality, if you're working at a at a place with uh, you're given that budget, we as chefs like to use it wisely and not um, under uh, shoot ourselves in the foot for the following year. Okay. Anyone else? Yes, Ms. Karina, start, um, keep on plugging your startup cause, okay? So you're able to load up the menu, right, Ms. Catherine? Mm -hmm. You're able to load up the menus, right? Yes, I have. OK. 
Okay. I tried to make it as clear of a picture as I could. Uh -huh. But you barely, you can't really see the wordings on it. So you still couldn't download it and, and copy and paste? No, so I just took pictures. Okay. <laughs> but I can't assign too much fun with the cupcakes. <laughs> Yeah, keep it plugging away. You're all, you're almost there. Okay. I um put the interior pictures. Is that for what I have an idea of? Okay. Probably. Or put it as design. Okay. Very nice. Clean. Uh, contemporary, even the kitchen is clean, they will organize in the back, all right. And the furry felines out in the little play yard. <laughs> okay. Oh, it looks good. Looks good. Yeah, cool. Pino Stemmen is really on too. Awesome. Okay. So uh, you should be almost done, right, with this project. Yes. Um, anything else that I have to put in that I'm forgetting? No, I think you got, oh, the layout. The um, layout. Yes, the layout, the PowerPoint, where you're going to move the chairs, the stoves, and all that good stuff. Okay. And then, of course, uh, next couple of days, or when you have a chance, if you want the extra points, then the uh, slideshow and all the uh, website. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, Ms. Julia, your project kicked me out and said I got to have requests. All right, Ms. Julia? Says I got to have requests to look at it.
Chuck, can you hear me? I can hear you. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm, my connection is freaking out.
Hey, Zach, can you hear me? Who? I couldn't tell if you said Ali or Zach. No, Zach. Oh, okay, I was like, wait a second. Is that, hold him in. Thank you. 